Hello everybody, welcome to eSports at NC State. Today we're going back into CS2, NCSU versus GMU. This is the third week of the series. My name is Aaron Bird. And I'm Cole. I'm filling in for Sketchy Hatman tonight. Yep, and, and we'll uh, be giving you we'll be giving you all the cool swingy dangy play by plays and the looks at the game while it's going on. Um, this this lineup looks pretty good today. I mean, this team looks even better than the team that NCSU faced last week. What are your thoughts on it? Right, we're looking at two undefeated teams in the uh, NACE Star League uh, this this week, and both have very convincing wins against similar opponents in the past. And so, mm. you know, we're going to be expecting quite a tough game for NC State to overcome this 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 uh, this week. But I don't think it's anything that they can't handle. But it should be a really good game to watch. Absolutely, yeah. I I feel like it's going to go. I feel like it's going to go three maps again. I mean, that would be fun. That would be fun. That would be, be a fun. lot of fun to watch. Yeah, didn't get didn't get too many insights this time, or at least we didn't really ask. Uh, I at least I didn't talk to the coaches from the other team. Mm -hmm. um, we did last week, but we didn't do that this week. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, Patriots versus the Wolfpack. Very exciting. Very exciting. Right. Now, it's... NC State is, um, you know, coming off some big wins, uh, especially this past week with uh, Rally Cry as well. You know, that game was streamed last week, and a lot of the casters were actually mm -hmm. giving NC State some big props. And and so, you know, facing off, off against a team like GMU with some strong potential in their lineup, but not a whole lot heard, at least on my end, is, is you know, interesting. Interesting. And so, so it, we're going to have to see how NC State approaches this and how GMU approaches this coming from experiences on both sides. Um, and NC State, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they respond um, to GMU's yeah. uh, uh, play style. Uh, we saw last week that NC State was actually appraised quite a bit for being very flexible on uh, some, of their, some of their maps and being able to adapt right. to different teams. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm curious at how that's going to really play out this weekend as well. Right, right. Yeah, NCSU has a lot of uh, should I say wacky tactics <laughs> that they can just pull out of the fly? Uh, right. Last week we saw some of those unison smokes. That was really cool. Uh, we didn't we didn't see another one of those smoke lines from from Overpass, but I did hear that Overpass was was likely one that will be seen today. Uh, we don't have information on those map bands yet, but in CSU's map bands are in chat right now. All right, cool. Just came. All right, in. yep, just came in. All right, Anubis, Vertigo, Inferno. Uh, the other team picked Anubis, NCSU picked Vertigo, and the, the third map, if it comes down to it, is going to be Inferno. That's pretty cool. We saw these map. We we saw these first two maps last week, mm -hmm. except it was picked the other way around. Um, the opponent ended up picking Vertigo, and we picked Anubis. So it's interesting to see that flip flop today. Right, and and NC State's actually been quite um, confident on Vertigo as well as Anubis as well. Um, but we we obviously saw them lose on Anubis last week during the series, and so you know we're kind of um, I, I think GMU is kind of posing the question of like, can you handle us on Anubis as well, mm -hmm. and uh, and gonna kind of test NC State on that. I think they're they're probably gonna be well prepared for that. Uh, especially since NCSU has a number of games on Anubis, I think GMU could come to the table well prepared for that, and so uh, I think that'll be an interesting map to look at. Vertigo, I'm hoping that NC State is a little bit more well prepared for that. Um, I know they've been focused on Overpass, like we were talking about a little bit earlier. They've been focused on working on Overpass a little bit, um, but we did see them on Vertigo last week, so we'll see how confident they are this time around. Um, not a hundred percent sure on how GMU is gonna um, take this map ban, and Inferno is a new one coming out, right? Um, right. Seeing NC State on Inferno is gonna be interesting as well, and so you know, three very quick paced maps, I think as well. Vertigo and Inferno are very quick, and so I think it'll be a really interesting game to see how these teams kind of handle each other on these maps. Right, right, exactly, and yeah, that this completely disregards what I said earlier about overpass being one of the ones that we'll see today we won't be seeing it today at all we'll be seeing anubis vertigo and inferno in that order so yeah hopefully it gets to that third map because um i'm i'm very excited to see what nc state has cooked for that yeah it'll be it'll be nice to see inferno i, I don't think i've seen inferno quite a bit especially in pro play pro play 
Also, um, you know, Inferno's not picked a lot. I think we see a lot of Anubis Ancient, um, Vertigo, and stuff like that. So it'll be definitely interesting to see an Inferno game uh, this week. Um, but obviously, we got to get through the first two, and both teams got to stay in on the first two. And so I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And with that out of the way, it looks like we're just waiting for the game to start. And yeah, I think, yeah, I guess we'll be back when, when it's closer to time. Yeah. All right, here we go. And we're on Anubis. Very cool. Waiting for GMU to join up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they've got to play in, uh, for uh, these NACE uh, varsity leagues, they have to play in um, central locations. So NC State on land. You know, fist bumping each other. <laughs> it's a good experience. Good experience. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, NC State just got a um, new and improved um, esports room, I believe, for for them to be able to play together. So it's really nice to see that they're utilizing that this year. And some really nice specs on them too. I mean, we got like yeah, yeah, very very nice PCs with very nice monitors. Yeah. So yeah. it's definitely it's definitely a lot. It's a lot. It's very nice to not have to worry about you know something going wrong on your PC. Right. Yeah, they they like, did uh they they polled for the um for like what kind of stats we want to see right when i i answered of course i was going to answer the poll when, when i was an NCAA student and i i told them the, the i'd look at the best stuff so to make sure that they would you know use that money wisely and get some of the best equipment out there because we've got some really good players i mean yeah they deserve the best that's to foster the best, you gotta use the best, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, just, it's the same thing with, with regular sports as well, making sure you have proper facilities and, and tools to use. Hopefully we'll be started here in a, just a minute. Um, oh. Looks like everybody's in the server. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know if we'll have to wait till uh, warm up or when people ready up. Um, Put so their hands should... on the mouse, on the mice. Yeah, on the mice, the mice. Mice, the mice. Yeah, there's likely going to be a um the mouses yeah there's gonna be like a um a little bit of knife play here yeah they're just messing around while we're waiting the warm-up warriors the warm-up warriors indeed are you expecting anything out of anybody today who are you, who are you expecting to uh Ooh. to perform all who right do you want to so, see perform i want to see king perform again really because absolutely especially with the op yeah really nice flick shots last week i i want to see some more of that action today and you know i want to see some plays from good old master ugwe again <laughs> um <laughs> good old tristan and i mean <sighs> maced <laughs> I, I can't say enough about maced and mr yeah. myers and tau i mean i just it's, named a, it's a very team. solid team yeah, very, solid, very team. solid team. 
Um, I think from my perspective, I really um, I, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, just like you know the play calling. I, I want to. I'm very interested in that, and we know that Tao is that play caller, and and trying to figure out what he's thinking in the middle of the round is going to be very interesting, and trying to see right. what his decisions are, why he makes decisions is is something I'm I'm looking forward to. Right. Right. Oh. All right. So. It's like one more warm up. Right. Uh. Well. Oh, never mind. GMU picked this map, so NC State's going to have choice of side, and they're going to go onto the T side here. Looks like we'll be starting the pistol here in just a few seconds. Um, you know, one of the few maps that, that people, you know, tend to start on, on T side when they have a, a choice of sides. And so we'll see NC State's attack yeah. come out first. Yeah, yeah. Out for a pistol. Looking like NC State's going to go over towards the B site this time. Mm. All five players going here. GMU not on site, but they're already rotating people over. NC State hopping into the site. Crimson getting one on Maced. Buddy getting another one on the King. NC State 3v5. Make that a 2v5. I'm going to try and get the bomb down here at least. Not going to happen. Crimson, Buddy holding down the site. GMU up 1-0 on NC State. A very clean pistol. Yeah, I mean, uh, you weren't here last week, but we, we talked about this a lot last week. How and, and we talked about during our interviews how NC State's not that good at pistol rounds. I mean, they've been trying to work better at it, but they lost like 9 of the 10 um, <laughs> that they had last week. So, All right, pistol rounds are really important, especially in this uh, MR12. Um, format where you know you're trying to play for 13 rounds those pistol rounds at the end of every half are going to be really important right. nc state coming out just five men rush onto the a bomb site trying to get a plant down going to be able to do that blocks zoker getting two with that XM. nc state really shouldn't walk away with any kills here and they won't they do walk away with bomb plant some money that's nice it's nice Is that yeah, that, that's what they were looking for, was some eco from that bomb plant. Right, and the T-side the side economy is a little bit cheaper. And so, you know, just getting that extra money just kind of secures that gun round so that you can, mm -hmm. you know, buy comfortably and buy utility to work with. And so exactly, we'll, yeah. we'll see NC State come out with a buy here. GMU on a bonus here. Not going to upgrade too much. Yeah. It is interesting to see someone with a shoddy. Um, the XM-1014 is one of my favorite guns, so it's always nice to see it being used. It's not, it wasn't used that much last week, so. Yeah, I don't think it gets very much play in general. Right, right. I think a, a lot of the guns actually don't get a lot of play. Ian, you're gonna be pushing a main here, gonna take down Mr. Myers, but Tristan trades out. NC stayed up on a 4v3 situation right here. Mace Ooh. lurking out onto B. He's going to get one on the buddy. NC State in a really strong position right now. Actually, Tau is pretty close on that. Yeah. The shotgun here. Tau probably just hurt him. Probably just hurt him. Got three NC State players here. Going through the is a little bit dangerous. Against that shotgun, too. Ooh, Zoker getting two. He's going to be able to get the third. He does. He does. Picks up the AK. Swings the round to GMU. NC State falling apart here. Three people taken down by Zoker in the middle. In middle. Now it's all up to Tristan to try and take this one back for NC State. Gonna be walking in. Gonna get Ooh, one on the. Gonna be one v one here. One v one. And Zoker's uh, not able to complete the four K. And Tristan brings it back on one HP. The NC State gets noticed. one round. Indeed, on one HP. That was close. I mean, a little bit too close. A little bit too close. But I, yeah, we were just talking about that, uh, about that shotgun, and yeah, it took out took out two people. Picked up the AK, got a third. That I think was it's almost work. Yeah, they were indeed. We, as we said before, going to be a very close game today. NC State coming out to the A side, making a lot of noise. They're coming and they want to be known. Just stalled up a little bit there. Going to be fighting three GMU players here. Going to be able to take the site, get two kills. And it looks like this round might already be over for GMU. 
Might be a good idea to save here, especially with the money that they have right now. Ooh, yeah. They're not getting too much of a loss bonus right now. Hmm. See Tao getting up, gonna be able to take out Zoker. This should be a definite save call. I don't even think playing for exits here is a, is a smart idea, but NC State has a couple low players. Might be possible to get one or two. Traveling out in pairs is a smart thing to do. Right, right. So missing his shots. Mace is not going to miss his shot. There we go. Genius saves with one. I mean, yeah, all those placements from the um, from those grenades, very tactically used from NC State's end. Also from also from GMU, uh, the a little bit of a delay on on that A bomb site from the Molotov. That was right. a smart move. Yeah, allowing one of their players to rotate over pretty quickly, but NC State did a really good job at isolating the site there, and so you know you see the smoke wall come out um, up in heaven and up in that glass area, and we saw. And you kind of struggle for his position to get back on the site once two of the people were killed. GMU on a eco here. Ooh, a trade. But a trade. Glass cannoning the op. You get a one for one here. Oh, 4v4. Mace is going to get one onto the B bomb site. And it looks like NC State's converging onto this B bomb site. He's gonna molly off notes with another guy e-box. Wow, taking some fights. Oh. Mr. Myers kills one in mid. Mace gets one more out, and they know this last guy's in temple. You know he's there and he's carrying an op. A very expensive gun. Maybe we'll see GMU uh, save again. Save it? Yeah. He's gonna try, but they're they're gonna chase him. They're gonna they're gonna want to. They're bloodthirsty. They're wolves. Man, you heard of me, man. <laughs> gonna hold the CT angle. Mr. Myers is gonna be creeping up on him. There's so much check, and it's, you know, it forks right there. Which way do you go? Oh. He's gonna choose glass. They should know um, that this is clear now. Misses him, yeah. But Mace is getting ever so close. Who will die here? Oh! Not maced. Team, you not able to save. Up the yeah, fix up the op. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna s hopefully see some op come out of Will. Yeah, hopefully. What do you think about that take by NC State? I mean, it was clean. I mean, you you go in, you take the area, you you, and then you hunt down the stragglers. <laughs> right. And it, it was a little bit awkward because, you know, you expect GMU to have a full save there I mean, you, you have a glass cannon come out on an eco round which i think is an interesting call it's you know you had one person save with the with a rifle right and then someone buys a glass cannon you know no matter that they have you know the 1800 dollars to potentially buy the next round it's... if i had to if I, if I had to think about why they might have done it, it perhaps they were looking for picks with that up so that they could get some guns from the B side yeah but it, that didn't end up working in their favor and the the guy of the op was the last one surviving. And ended up losing it anyways. But Zoker on that deal gets a really nice headshot on the Tristan up in mid. And he talked about retrieving some of these guns. Not exactly possible for the one up mid, but they're able to push two people into a main. Get a gun off of that. NC State knows they need a group. They need to group. And they're taking their space out B. They knew two people pushed out. On that A-bomb site. Actually flanking with Zoker. Getting another headshot on the Tau. Flanking in the E-box. And one person oh. left on NC State. It's going to be NC State's turn to save. Yeah, uh, looks like they're going to be saving that. Three people in that B-box. They're not going to let him touch that bomb. I'm chasing him here. Get one. Can you get the second? Because you know there's a second guy there. He's going to try and just... Play the time. Uh, Saves that up. Yeah. And finally, we have a... <laughs> finally, we'll be seeing both teams fully kitted out. Hopefully, a little bit more gunfight. There fight. we go. 
Yeah. yeah, hopefully a little bit more action. Um, it's been a lot of s sneaky beaky behavior. And a little bit back and forth, especially on that eco round. You know, we right. see Genie take two. T State are gonna take two into A main. Ooh. Person up in glass. Ooh. Get tagged by Will's op. Takes one with him though. Very low. Yeah. King finishes him off. But another teammate's already rotated over, and she says gonna think about backing out here. I think they know that GMU has the bomb here. Mm. Me trying to take this back, but GMU's flanking on A main very quickly. Might be able to get a kill out of. Oh yeah, I was, gets I was two. About to Crimson say. gets two. Mace takes down Buddy. Has the bomb now. Knows where this last person is. He's going to elect to take the fight. Crimson going to go back into A main. Going to completely fall off. Mace is looking for that kill. They're not going to go back and get the well, He's worried. Again. He doesn't know where he's at. Yeah. He doesn't have the bomb with him either. Still has 40 seconds, but... These two are very far apart, leaving it up to each other's imagination to where the other person might be. Indeed. It's like they might meet at top mid here. Crimson doesn't know if he's taking the bomb yet. Now Mace making some noise. He's got to. He only has a little bit of time. He's going to go back to this A main. Yeah, is he going to be able to make it in time? He'll have time, it seems. But he might have to... He's put himself think... in a really bad position here. Oh, he's going to get the bomb. Should be able to get the bomb down. The question is, Crimson's going to stay quiet here. Ah. He's going to have the upper hand on Mace. Like oh, coming out of that smoke. Yeah, that, that flank was critical there, um, as as T was backing out of the A site. I, they had no idea that someone was tagging along behind them. He was right on their tail. Mm -hmm. And that, that's very, very what swung that fight in the, into the CT's favor. Yeah, I think, I think there was another push from GMU that ended up getting a kill on, that t, on those T steps. Where NC State had the bomb, and so GMU knew that NC State had to go back for the bomb at some point. The A main flank was timed perfectly. NC State grouping towards B here, all five people. Trying to execute here. Ooh. Mr. Myers gets one on the site. Gonna entry through, gonna go through the smoke. Crimson had no idea. Caught yeah. staring, caught lacking. E very easy point here. Hopefully. But we, we saw last round that NC State ended up losing this 3v5. That's true. The tower's taking down one more, and that should be the round. Yeah, yeah. GM, you're going to decide to save here. They're just going to, yeah. Smart move. Yeah, you taking more. B is, is tough. Is tough, especially when you're outnumbered. Yeah, there's so many different there's so many different angles. Um, or rather, there's so many easy positions to watch multiple angles. We're gonna take down Tau. They are now. Terrorists win. Trying not to die, Shipsy and Zoker taking down four. Ooh. Tristan gets one back though. And each team are left with one at the end of that round. NC State tying it back up. Four to four. Yeah. I mean, yeah, looks like we predicted it would be a very close game. <laughs> I'll keep saying that as long as it's a very close game. Looks like not everyone's fully buying on the on the, T, on the CT side. That's a miscommunication, maybe. Yeah. Especially, you know, in CS2, one of the bigger updates was that you had the option to undo. Right, you know, right. And so, you know, buying, understanding that your team's not on the same page, and then leaving spawns where you can't unbuy. You know, it's interesting to see. Right. In the team setting, especially. It could, it could just be a... Uh could just be a case where maybe some of them are going to say it and then the rest aren't. But I wouldn't see... I can't think of a good reason at this point for them to do that. Right. There's, there's really no reason to... Oh. They're pushing 
HP. He gets one off of it. NC State are really are, are really struggling with these these eco pushes. I think he's gonna have a good timing there to get one. He's gonna be kind of trapped and he knows that. I think he heard somebody at the bottom mid. Interesting there's a lot of damage from that Molotov. King gets another. I'm gonna pick up a third. Has information that the guy is in temple going glass. Mr. Myers should get this kill. Or no, it looks like GMU are gonna elect to save. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna save. Bit, but... Saving it. Well, they're, they're able to get guns. Everybody's able to get guns, and uh, GMU are yeah. gonna save. I think that, that goes back to the uncoordinated buy that you mentioned. Just. Yeah. Got some question marks going there. Yeah, I mean. But they were able to pick up some. They were able to pick up some. So, not all bad. We'll see how good their buy is this round. Well, even still, they're stretching a lot of money across. You know, the, the CT weapons cost a little bit more than the T's. Ooh, so do the timeout. grenades and... I mean, they, they, I think it would be silly not to take a timeout here. There, there's obviously some sort of miscommunication going on between the team and just... You know, they're by something simple like that shouldn't be happening, especially in such a close game. You know, you, you figure it out and you kind of get back on the right track and you could have a very, very competitive game. But, you know, right, right. they don't do it the right way. They could just let it slip. And don't, they weren't all able to buy armor. They were only able to get decently well. Yeah, they're decently well equipped with weapons. They yeah. don't have all the they don't have all the grenades, but maybe they plan for that here three stacked on B. They're being very passive on a i think they're trying to get I got the info crimson got the info on mace Ooh, tristan nice. punishes zoker for pushing up mid mid is wide open now Big gmu rotate somebody Very nice uh, reaction time from Tristan to see that. Like they're gonna get in. Get flashed in the main. Able to get one, trade it back, and Mace gets two. Two traded back. NC State are gonna go off of that. They think there's not anybody else here. Mr. Myers being cautious. They should know that there's somebody in E-Box now. They're just gonna wait on Mr. Myers to get this kill. Yep. And it's a go. A 1v4 situation for C. Very daunting situation. Indeed. In casual play, one might even hear someone say clutch or kick. <laughs> Wait. Clutch or kick. Clutch, clutch or, or kick. kick. Obviously, we're going to see a save come out. Will he perform when there's money right in front of him? True. Maybe looking to get just one or two on the way out. Yeah. Yeah, he's guarding that exit right here. Oh, he's oh he looked away. Oh, he hears him. Maybe we get the ah there we jump go. onto the maze. Was able to get one. Ooh. Maybe two. No, he's just gonna try and save the gun. I think. Yep. Able to save that gun. What is CT going to do here with their eco? Save I guess again. another another save. That's the smartest thing. See that that miscommunication that that we saw earlier just is really coming back to bite them. It's a domino effect. Mm -hmm. It's a domino effect. You don't have every, everybody on the same page, on the same eco. I mean, we know in matchmaking it doesn't work. And team player will not work either. Right. So stay looking to go out quick here onto the A site. Gonna push the CTs all the way out. Get a free bomb plant. A site has been very successful for for NC State to get right. that quick rush in and run that long. Right. Very unguarded from from uh, GMU. NC State picking up some of these eco frags, making sure their fortress is not penetrated on A site. Should be another easy round for NC State to pick up. Looks like it, yeah. Glass 
Ooh. Taking down by one. Knows both of them are here. Three and oh, players go down. So does a GMU player. Able to save again. Same player stayed alive. Same player stayed alive, but I think that gives them a little bit more options for the economy this round. And it's a really important round because if we see GMU go down one more round, I think just the morale, you know, that they're they're building back from the awkward eco that they had, and they finally have one gun round. It's the last round of the half, though. Right. So th they might as well use all the money they had. Right. And if, if it nothing comes to fruition from it, it's it's a little bit awkward and a little bit demoralizing that, you know, this is like one of the few chances they had in terms of a solid. Oh. Uh -oh. Take Maced using the info that he got last round, maybe the round before that Tri we jump got spotting a DC in that from spot. Tristan. We did four and four, but they have to finish the round. They have to, unfortunately. Doable, winnable, winnable. Still a four v four. Still a four v four. This is a tougher mountain Ooh. to climb, but will Mr. King getting a kill on the path? So if you're getting one back, they know one person's on this A site. Right. Ooh, Mace is gonna hear. He's gonna know that there's people down here. They won't know Mace is here. Mace oh. drops down, hits 50. That's on to Mr. Myers. He's gonna get the kill. Myers. Knows this guy was on A. Could be anywhere. He's looking the right direction, actually. Oh, he's, he's gonna be right above him. He might. Oh, if he drops, he's gonna give away info. I think he's gonna go be main for a safe play. Right, I, right. I don't know if Mr. Myers will read this. I think he, he's not looking in the right direction. Right. He's fixated. He's fixated on 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 the guy coming from. He doesn't even think it's all. Oh, he, he mean. Is he gonna turn? Yeah, he hasn't turned. Still hasn't turned. Uh, he didn't turn at all to see if they might have been coming from spawn. Had no idea. Soaker using that information really well. Right. He knows they spotted him on his side, and the, you know the. The one place, or the two places that are, he's most likely to come from, you know, coming from that CT spawn area and from water through E-Box. Right. Choosing to take the long flank around ends up paying off. And it looks like we'll have a... Yep. Technical time. Technical time out. I saw Tristan DC last round. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Yeah, because they'll come they're, back really soon. They're all in the same room, so right. For DC, you, you think it's uh DC failure? Maybe someone sneezed too hard, <laughs> and they unplugged the power cord. Well, what do we think about that first half from NC State? That first half was, I mean, the the pistol rounds were very expected, honestly. I can't trigger coat that. But mm -hmm. the rest of it was very, it was nice to see. I mean, uh, lots of backs and forths. But when, the again, that one mistake in the, I we assume it, it's, a, I mean, it certainly looked like it was a mistake in the eco on the CT side. And that, that messed them up for a good three or four rounds in a row. Right. And, I, and you, th you you think that that eco ends up making the difference in a couple of those rounds, and you think like maybe, just maybe GMU might have been able to tie it at the half and and you know have a better chance than they do right now. Um, but you know it's still a close game. I think GMU did close. did really well with what they had. NC State was starting to pick up, starting to pick up on GMU's habits too, and we saw that in the last round with uh, with Maced seeing that on the on the b site and hopefully we get a little bit more reads because right now it just feels a little bit you know wishy-washy between the two teams i think they're maybe still feeling each other out and mm -hmm. trying to understand how they play looks like tristan's back that's great back to a 5v5 and a the game round. should commence into a pistol round uh, if they do I'll be jumping for joy. <laughs> so they're gonna be aggressive towards this B main. Gonna get the info that nobody is there. Oh, they're. Oh wow. Okay. And that nade. 
T is completely That nade is going to be doing a lot. And they know, they know now that GMU are fully out on this A site. Oh, rush. Crimson going to get one on the tower. Myers gets one back. Ooh, be able Kill to the deny the plant team is. But Crimson comes back and takes two. A 2v3. Oh, this backwards flank. Might prove to be useful, but Tristan taken down and he knows where the last two are. Or he should. You know the general area. Take your corners. Not going to. Shipsy gonna pick up the last one on a maced. And again, another pistol round. NC State's weakness, but. <laughs> You know, the, so, the one thing I thought to myself there was why were they throwing nades? They, you know, Tao saw them coming out onto site and we saw two people holding nades looking to throw and flash. But right. they were GMU was already out on site. Instead of, instead of having their pistols out. Right. Interesting maneuvers. Interesting maneuvers here. <laughs> As we see CT stacked on top of each other. I'm trying to just get a kill here. We don't have much to work with right now. The T's aren't really giving them anything. Yeah. See Not Shipsy much to push. Moving around here a little bit. A little bit hesitant to go through. I'm sure they'll be surprised to see two men stacked on top of each other. <laughs> it looks like he won't even see it. Yeah. Jim, you looking like they're grouping towards B. End goal, NC State getting a little bit impatient. Unimpatient, impatient, unpatient. Oh, everyone's moving towards B, yep. GMU have the site for free. NC State rushing in, see if they can get one, oh, but Buddy, buddy takes buddy. three, Buddy takes four. four. Buddy wants that ace. Will Buddy get the ace? Chipsy gonna take contact here. Oh. Oh, they know where he is. Buddy's coming. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Oh. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Get him, buddy. And Zoker takes it from Buddy. <laughs> you know, if I was in the same room with someone who took my ace so blatantly as that. I'd, I'd sneeze so hard that their computer disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> my hand might just slip and press a random key on their keyboard while they're fighting someone. Whoops. Whoopsies. Didn't mean to buy that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like NC State's gonna have a little bit better guns here. Not too great, though. Not too great. You gotta think about CT's gotta use these grenades in order to stop the T's from pushing. Right. They don't have a lot of grenades to use. Mace is gonna to... be pushing through this B main here. But GMU are already up mid. One gets tagged. Getting they're pushing up on King really quickly. Crimson going to get one. Checking their back. Mace just gets lasered. Buddy walks out, kills Mr. Myers. And it feels like NC State are kind of losing grip on this. Yeah, I mean, this this is... From what I've seen, trend-wise, NC State loses three or four. Or at least three after the... the including the pistol. Planted. And then they tend to bring it back. But this was a very early, very early buy on these weapons. I feel like they could have saved one more round. Yeah. They certainly should have. Maybe. But I think they, they trusted their instincts that, you know, GMU were going to be on a bonus round. And they have a little bit of opportunity to win those gunfights, especially against stuff like MAC-10s. But then, mm. you know, you lose those gunfights... Maybe not specifically to the MAC-10, but you lose the gunfights, GMU upgrades as they go along and end up snowballing into a site. Yeah. And resetting NC State's economy here. And we've seen, you know, this past round, I think maybe like two or three times where NC State, you know, tags up the other player, but not able to finish off the kill. And unfortunately, it just feels like they're, they're maybe getting a little discouraged and not feeling as confident in the game. Mm. But NC no. State coming back out on a eco again, buying some pistols. Looks like they might get active towards this A main here. 
Oh, we're trying to stop that B main push, at least for a little bit while they get info up towards A, but it looks like GM, you are playing so that they are geared towards B. Gonna take that space out on that B bomb site. Crimson takes contact. Gonna get one, but Mace Tree's back. Sap. From E-Box, he's gonna take two. Zoker takes one. It's up to Tristan. Gets one. Gonna get two. Not quite. I think two there on an eco round like that's not too bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad until you look at the T side economy. Look right. At that money. Look at that money line. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not not entirely sure whether or not NC State is tracking um, how much money the other side could have. But that's a lot of money on the T side. It's a lot of money. They didn't have a lot of people die in the class few rounds and you know even buying back like we said last half that these t weapons are, are a lot cheaper than ct weapons so it's a little bit awkward for cts getting like you know losing a round and having to buy back it's just a little bit expensive but for t's it's not all too expensive right gmu looking to go up through this e-box position in b see what they can get it looks like NC State should know that there's a couple people in there. Tower should be taken out in the mid lane. And another pick through the mid corridors. Buddy gonna pick up Mr. Myers trying to push through A main, and it looks like GMU are gonna take their space over towards A. No one more person's on this B bomb site. King. Trying to hold, maybe get a free kill onto this. I middle not gonna happen. Crimson gonna take out King and Tristan left on a 1v5. Gonna be getting flanked here. They don't know where he is. They're gonna find out. Tristan's gonna be yeah. found out soon enough. Sooner or later. He's just looking for these exits that look like. Oh, there's one. He's gonna find two. I feel like two is like the limit. They're just gonna all pounce on him. Maybe, maybe fighting him one by one, but it doesn't matter. Zoker's okay. able to win that 1v1. Mm -hmm. Jimmy picking up their 10th. It's looking really scary for NC State here. Yeah, as we get into as we get into double digits, 7 to 10. Another pistol round is it going to be. And, but we must remember, this was this was GMU's pick for the map. So maybe right. they... Maybe they planned a little bit in some of their strategies here against NC State when they saw NC State lose this map pick last week. Right. Especially on the CT side, it's easier to pick apart, you know, where people play on the regular, where they might be, what kinds of plays they might do on these eco rounds. Right. So, you know, GMU does their homework. Just understanding their opponents and reading them is going to be a lot easier. NC State coming in with a little bit of an awkward buy. Yeah. 29s. Pistols. Not a full buy. Spots out one in mid. Not able to capitalize on it, though. GMU just waiting for NC State to get a little bit overzealous here. Lurking around this mid. They should know that there's two people here. Crimson gets one. The opener on the king. And they're pouncing on this A site. GMU are ready for that. Gets the kill. Or on A site. NC State. Locked out of heaven. Completely locked out of heaven. State takes their space. Yeah. State's got one all the way out in the outreaches near the enemy spawn coming in. All right. Seeing it slip away from NC State here. You know, we got. You know, pretty confident that it's going to be 11 to 7 here. Right, Takes right. Down maced. I mean, now, now that the bomb is ticking down like this, it, it's going to be some, it's a sub at 11 here. We're going to the grocery store. What will they buy? Mr. Myers able to get one. Not gonna get anything out of that. 
Maybe 150 bucks for the kill. I mean, if I was going to a 7-Eleven and I was in C-State, I'd get some Howling Cow. True. <laughs> okay. Starting to warm up a little bit. Howling Cow is uh, going to be in this season. Yeah, yeah. Soon enough. Can't wait. They were sold out of uh, Wolf Traps the other day in Tally. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Mace. Mace is able to win that. Wins that trade, but not without losing a lot of his health bar. Only one more person's there. On one HP. Wow. Yeah. Mace won't be doing much. I, if Mace gets another kill, I would be impressed. Right. <laughs> Looks like Buddy's going to try and just walk out here, see what kind of space he can get. I think he may have saw, he definitely oh. saw... Devil's Mr. Myers on that site now. Molly him out. Mr. Myers gonna get a dink onto him. They think they're coming towards A. Nobody from NC yeah. State's moving too much yet. I think they realize that it's just one person here. Looks like Mace might be taking contact here soon. NC State's getting a little impatient on B. Or at least they might be. On A, I think they're they're trying to re-aggress A to make sure that they're not still trying to replay on A. Tristan gets one right. kill. It's two Maybe. kills from E-Box. They know that these last two players are on this B-bomb site. Little King able to get through, gets one on the Crimson yes, and one person it. left on this B-bomb site. NC State should have a round in the bag. I think this is their oh, hold on. I'm going I'm going to hold my tongue. I will hold my tongue. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. We can all take a sigh of relief. NC State converts around their first on the CT half. It is, yeah. They've been and now the now T's T's <laughs> like, no, I didn't want to give them one. Let's have a timeout. Maybe to stop their momentum a little bit. Make sure that they don't get too hyped up over winning one one round, you know? Right, right. Uh, you know, there's not really a whole lot for the T's to talk about here. I think they, you know, they just lost some of the opening duels and some of these fights. And NC State capitalized on having a man man advantage and and took their space where they where they could. Um, especially after realizing that there's only one man A coming back through and reaggressing A main mm. to kind of solidify. If if I was T in this position right now, I would probably be discussing, can we do a power play here? Because we only need two more wins in order to take this first map. Right. But ooh, It looks like nothing's going to come out, though, because Maced gets a power play onto the B main. It's a little bit too greedy and goes back out, and Crimson will really capitalize on that. Buddy wins the fight against Tristan. Looks like GMU might be ways to go and take this B bomb site now. Will King not able to get one. Oh, wow. able to get one. Ah, not able to get two. Of that. Really close. That's hard to do. Somewhat even. Two to two to three. They've... He's getting stared down. Yeah. State gonna have a little bit oh, of a mountain to climb, maybe Myers. more of a hill now. Mr. Myers coming through this E box. Now coming through CT. Buddy is on one HP. It's totally doable, and this Molly's gonna push out Buddy just a little bit. I don't think Tau sees him. Both players are pretty low. Oh, well, Buddy gets him. Buddy gets him. And a crossfire. Ends up setting a crossfire. I think pushing Buddy out there ended up giving Buddy an angle on Tau. This eco does not look good for NC State on this. Round. Absolutely not. I think it's a little bit doomed for NC State here. You know, you, you, another thing that I think NC State's been struggling with a little bit too is, is is when to take timeouts. You know, I don't think we've seen a, a timeout from NC State this this map, other than the technical timeout during halftime. And you know, right, at that point, right. they were doing pretty good. Um, and so it wasn't really a, a, a timeout to discuss anything. It was a timeout to fix technology. But, yeah. you know, NC State losing that last round, you'd think maybe a timeout to kind of discuss things over about 
you know, potentially the last round of this map. Right. I mean, even... I mean, also I could have seen NC State possibly utilizing the other team's timeouts when they've been using right. those. Um, so maybe that's why they haven't used one of their own. Oh, Mace gets Ooh. one. Mace gets two. Tristan Mace gets, gets one. two. And Tristan, this A main push by NC State has proved to be quite beneficial for them. The last two players for GMU are up mid, but it appears that NC State's aware of this mid gap and are, are, are adjusted accordingly. I think they don't hear anything on these other bomb sites, so they're guessing that these guys are coming through this class. Mr. Myers is going to confirm that. Most likely, these last two are here together. Mr. Myers gets one. Mace takes down another. Very NC nice. State, a very, very dominant response to that last round. It's not going to hack into the enemy's eco a lot, but that was a that was a very necessary win that NC State needed. And another timeout from from gmu they really like their timeouts seems like they don't want nc state to get any sort of ideas or momentums that they're you know able right. to play and that they they want nc state to kind of maybe maybe they were like trying to get nc state to get in their heads a little bit what are they talking about why would they need to take this time out and you know what are they talking about doing this next round i can definitely see this as um i i know in football a lot I don't really watch a lot of football, but I was on the marching band. Uh, in football, uh, they uh, the the teams would take timeouts to stop momentum, and as soon as NC State got a win, twice now on when they're on CT, they've they've taken a timeout to slow down that momentum. I think that's very purposeful. Right. You can see GMU coming out fast towards this A main here. Only one person here. Mr. Myers is the only person here. GMU not going to smoke it out. Going to be stopped by it. Going to give NC State time to come over to this A site, but not enough. Not enough time for. GMU. They hit them all over the site. And they hear the bomb plane, but NC State They're still right has there. two people on B. A little bit late to rotate, and NC State are going to be playing it against the time now. Mr. Myers still in sight. Mr. Somehow Myers able to get one. Site. That was insane. Not able to get a second one, but tags him down quite a bit. It's doable for this 3v4 retake for NC State. But again, NC State against the time, Ooh. against the clock, with three <laughs> kills coming out quickly in a fourth. All within that five was seconds. Not, NC State. That was naughty. I mean, oh man, NC that was State good. Bringing that one back. A little, a little bit scary there. A little yeah. bit scary for NC State. And, I mean, you're on match point right there, and. Being able to compose yourself on a man, Mr. on a man Mr. down situation too, to come back yeah. and retake that. That was Mr. Myers in the middle of the smoke, what being surrounded by, by the T's. I mean, very good control of not showing them where he is. Right, and and just leaves that that gap there so that the T's are a little bit paranoid. Look at the that, eco. You know, Look at the eco on both sides. Right. Getting a little bit more even now. Whoever right. wins this might have an upper hand on, on the next couple of rounds. You know, if NC State's able to convert this, Tao getting one through the smoke. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's Ooh. nice. Misses the timing just barely. Oh. Getting three in total. Not just the Tao. Will takes one. You get three uh, out of that mid play there. Looks like Zoker takes down Mace or Mace. Maced. Maced. Maced, maced, Get maced. Get maced. Not this round, though. Zoker takes him down. He can't mace anybody this round. Can't mace to the face. Unfortunately. Not even the right game. NC State still up. Man advantage. Very 42. big man advantage. Holding their time as they're watching B. Slowly moving off of A. Doesn't see it as a threat. I think they're waiting for NC State to get a little bit impatient. You know, we saw this a couple times where NC State gets a little impatient and, and ends up, you know, giving away kills that they shouldn't have. But GMU right. positioned towards this B bomb site. Oh. He's going to get one, and they knew that another guy was going to be there. Coming out, King able to flick over to his left. What did I tell you about King? Hey, he's coming out. He's, <laughs> he's coming, coming out. out. He's coming out of the cave. He's coming out of the cave with his crown on. 
This is my kingdom. <laughs> so, real quote, by the way. Real Not quote really. from, from Will, right. <laughs> NC State in a really good position here. They've drowned the eco. And if they can, if they can just make GMU wait and waste their util, then they might have this first one in the bag here. We'll be able to tie it up and we'll go to overtime. Right, right. But I haven't seen any overtimes on this particular map yet. Overtimes are brutal. We got two people on GMU just staring at. At e box here. Tristan, gonna tag up one. Ooh, that nade. Oh, hits. Tags up two. Oh, gonna get flashed through. Ooh. Uh. Zoker takes advantage of that. GM, you're gonna pounce on this B site. It's gonna be it. It's one. Tau gets another. Tau gets two. Back down to a 2v2. 2 to 2. Crimson brings it back. Fake the plant here. Okay, go through the smoke. Oh, the miss. Gonna get the tag onto Sath. Will just has to wait for his teammate here to flank through E box. Mr. Myers needs to get this kill. Gonna get the kill. There it is. Path not able to. And they know this guy's in CT spawn. Gonna take this defuse. Oh. NC State might have overtime in the bag. And the defuse comes out of NC wow. State. Wow, that was that was close. Wow, yes. Wow. Really close for really really close. I mean just swinging just one more second a split second later. It's going to have the angle on on the defuser able to finish out that map, but NC State says no. We are going to overtime and we're going to get right into overtime as well. Yeah. NC State looking a little bit more confident on their CT side now. You know, we, we saw them at the beginning of the half just not really too confident, losing a lot of their fights and and kind of figuring their way out. Now, correct looking me if I'm get... wrong. Yeah, overtime for CS... Ooh, already a pick. Overtime for CS2 is some of the volleyball where you need to be up two, correct? Right, right. Um, play three rounds on each side. And there's an opportunity to tie again, go to double, triple, quadruple, quintuple overtimes. Double, triple, quadruple. But it's really a mental fortitude game at this point. It is. It is. Especially when you have two maps after this. It's going to be really interesting to see how it might affect both teams' gameplays. Ah, Tau. It's GMU. Like, to take advantage of NC State's confidence. Right. Getting two picks already. We talked about that before. NC State just getting a little impatient and maybe a little bit too confident. Giving up these picks. And GMU is just able to control the map. Now. Another one on to ah, King. King gets picked. 5v2 situation. Mr. Meyer's going to have two coming in through A main. You know, if he gets these two kills, ah. gets one, not the second. But I, I think, you know, if he were to get those two kills, it might, might have been possible. A right, uh, one before right. situation for Tristan. Not looking possible. I'd be thoroughly impressed. However, they're watching that with. They're watching that with an off, aren't they? Or... Oh! One person who goes down. Not watching it anymore, that's for sure. And two people up right. in heaven. Up two? The flash come down. Knows one person's in a main. Doesn't know where the second one is. Second guy's gonna be able to get this kill. Ah. Crimson does. Hey, that was that was commendable. It's a decent try. You know, they, they have money. All the money gets reset on the uh, overtime. You get full money. Right. I see. So there's that. no yeah. reason not to kind of push your luck. So it's all kind of make sure that their their eco is like on the same page as yours. You know. Yeah. Dog to be. Hey, yeah, you gotta come down the skill when you both have the same kind of eco. Right. Skill and, skill and tactic. Especially with these lobs. NC State getting aggressive again. Wanting to take these fights to GMU. But you gotta remember, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're the CT. They don't need to aggress if they don't, if they don't need to aggress. <laughs> you know, it has a
hasn't really paid off for them too well in the past couple of rounds, but it doesn't seem like they want to give up this, this confidence of this, you know, momentum that they might have from bringing it back. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hasn't proved to be a hindrance this round. GMU slowly moving over towards A main. Perhaps Taos heard something towards A. He's definitely oh, yeah. going to see something here soon. GMU going to be going over to the A site. Oh. Tao going to get taken down, and GMU know that they probably have the fight off of or the site off of that. Should have heard that close. Mr. Meyer just capitalizes on that. Mm -hmm. King gets another on to Crimson. 4v3 retake, but three people are trapped outside of glass right now. GMU don't have the bomb down yet. NC State's going to be left wondering where's the bomb. Gonna hear it go down they now. Hear it. I'm gonna see King on this flank towards A main. Gonna be battling up against Buddy. Buddy's gonna win it. 3v3 retake. Stay coming out of glass here. You clear this guy on sight. Ooh, a little bit shaky, but two down. One more to go, and it's the op in A main. Oh no. Oh, a little bit shaky, but NC State brings back that. Yeah. Last round of half. Oh, timeout from the T side. Well, they're losing a little bit now. It's getting a little bit uncomfortable for them. Mm -hmm. Probably thinking about how to how to utilize this. Possibly last attack here on as a right. T. I think something we got to remember too is that NC State won the half when they were on T side. So, you know, GMU thinks, you know, that NC mm. State's T side right. is maybe a little bit stronger than their CT side here, especially right. after the, the confidence they got from all those wins. So you, you got to kind of think like, hey, we got to win this round to really solidify that we're, we can still be relevant in the game after this. Right, right. This half. Mace getting, looking like he wants to get aggressive here. Not quite. Ooh. We get flashed in, but flashed off by the other team, unfortunately. The tag one, but it looks like the T's are still trying to push their way into this B bomb site. Gonna get one onto Mace. Tristan gonna get one back on the Zoker and E box. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're coming out onto B. NC State. And Tau on this bomb site. I don't know he's here. Oh, with a grenade. Tristan and E box. Tau is gonna keep this position. Oh, is he gonna get found out? Oh, no. Shipsy doesn't um... look for him. Mr. Myers knows there's people here. Gonna get one, knows the bomb's there, he's one HP. Tao gonna get one on the ships, he clears up this site and they know this last guy, where this last guy is. Little bit of an odd rotate. I think they're deciding whether to stick together or to go apart, but they hear that Molotov the and they know he's on A. They'll know it's A. They know it's A now. Yep. Perhaps that's what they were waiting on. But now, wow, Crimson's down to 11 health here. It's going to take mighty fine position against... Might catch Tau off guard here. The king. Oh, against Drew. king. <laughs> my kingdom. My kingdom. My kingdom. Secures <laughs> <laughs> the half from C State. Now as the as the as the side switch here, NC State definitely looked a lot stronger on the T. Definitely does. Or so it seemed, because again, could have just been a eco fluke. Could have been. Right, GMU did have that awkward eco there, and it might have. We did talk about how it might have been a little more even. Right. It didn't. Grouping up a little bit towards this A main here, and taking their space quite nicely. GMU are making 
this might be a rush towards the A site. NC State definitely trying to play it that way. GMU. Pulling some players off that B bomb site. Goes a little bit quiet on A. GMU doesn't like that. It's going to walk towards B again. And so is NC State, it looks like. I think some of these these plays can be a little bit naive by NC State. You know, you've, you've had almost 15, 20 seconds of silence towards A after you just made so much noise. Right. And you'd think that, you know, GMU's able to reset back into a more even spread here. Now they know that they're getting toward that B. Distraction. Trying to entry out, not able to get the kill onto him. And Mr. Meyer is able to come back. They know one more person's on, on this B bomb site. A little bit trapped in this B main, and GMU's rotated over now. Right, and plane. four CT players on site. I can let NC State plant and do anything for that matter. That was that was interesting. I mean that was very delayed out. I think if I think if NC State was going to push like that onto A without pushing onto A, that rotation could have been a little bit quicker. Yeah, and but, just having some people a little bit more ready for that. Maybe even throwing like a, a second fake. But right. I think, you know you gotta give credit to GMU for stalling there. I mean we saw like two or three Molotovs hit B main and so the NC State could not get into sight. The bomb could not get into sight. Right. And so NC State were trying to fight out of E box to secure site. And, you know, by the time that the T players were able to come through B main is GMU had already rotated all the way over and there were four people on site. Mm -hmm. Comes a meat grinder. Yeah. There's a meat grinder and all the meat fell on the floor. Sad day to be a meat fan. Indeed. Sad day to be out of meat. You can't sell that if it's on the ground. The FDA will close your store. Yeah. So these last two rounds, this half. You see State taking up an interesting boost on mid here. I don't even get anything out of it. Just a little bit onto Zoker. But again. GMU poised towards his B bomb site. King able to get one headshot on to Zoker. He's going to take this mid area. He to take his space a little bit, but NC State aren't getting too excited over this pick. Right. And that was a. That was. Because Zoker was the one to use all of their grenades. And then they went down. No one else really used theirs. So they right. still have a lot of. They got a lot of ammunition up their sleeve still. Definitely do. NC State looks like Ooh, Ooh, Mace gets a shot through that smoke. That, that, was, crimson. that was pleasant to see. <laughs> it was very pleasant to see. A very well-timed spray through the smoke. Game sense knowing that that guy would push through after it smoked. Oh. Oh, Mr. Myers going to get found out. Back down to a duty three. And NC State are going to decide to go out onto the deep bomb site. Do it, buddy. On 7 HP, trying to hold the site. But he's gonna be taken down. Mace gonna get the kill. They know one more person's here, gonna take him down. It was a bomb plant. Ooh. Ooh, close grenade. Not able to do much. Clears out the smoke a little bit. Clears out the much. smoke, but nobody's there. They're ghosts. Pick up the M4. Try and make this retake oh, a little flash. bit easier. Tau's on okay. 1 HP. Just gonna get this bomb site quick. Oh. A nice shot on the towel. Sees him. Oh, they. Oh. 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 He's got to play for it. Low oh. on bullets. Going for the Zeus. Oh, the He's gonna get the Zeus. No, not the Zeus. How disrespectful. Oh, man. Not the Zeus. Who buys that? <laughs> it's coming a little bit more viable. I didn't think I was going to see it. I didn't even realize he had a Zeus. He didn't want to play Ring Around the Rose. He was tired of playing these games, and he said, sit down. Enough. Had enough, yeah. pulled out the Zeus, and made a statement. Now. <laughs> now watch this. 600,000 bolts go straight through your veins. Ooh. Ooh. 
rough, but NC State now backed into a corner here a little bit. I'm gonna try and tie this up. It's gonna go for fast A main play. Gypsy, try and play for this. Molly off, but it doesn't matter. Mace is coming through. Chipsy gonna get one onto Mace. Zoker gets another in through the Molotov. Mr. Myers trades back. Tristan trades back one more. 3v3. NC State's gonna get the bomb plant down. Two on a quick flank here to A main. NC State need to get some ideas of where these people might be. Oh, no. This flank might prove to be fatal for NC State. Crimson coming walking. through. Pulls out a nade though. Tristan able to get one. Knows another's in a main and another one's in glass. 2v2. NC State. Sorry, 3v2. Oh, Make that please. a 2v1. Mr. Myers on 4 HP. No, man. Oh my, what a shot by Sath to finish it off. That's, that's, that's the map. What a hectic way to end Anubis. Wow. Wow. That was insane. I mean. There's a lot to be said, but not a lot to. There's too much to think about to say something right now, you know? Right. Yeah, my mind's just like, wow. I mean, we knew this game was going to be close, but into overtime? And that, I mean, fights as close as a zoo skill? Like, right. come on. Right. Bo both rounds coming down to a defuse. Right, you know, you have NC State, mm -hmm. you know, takes the site, able to secure it, but you know, not able to hold on to it. It's, even when they're in a, a, a man advantage situation, it felt like they, you know, got picked off one by one. The guy came through glass, you know, got one kill onto someone in heaven, and then another guy coming through A mains able to get another kill, and the, the isolated fights that NC State doesn't need to take. Right, right. You know, they know where both players are, and they need to, you know, systematically together take out both those players to secure that round for them but not able yeah. to and the first map goes to gmu yeah in overtime I mean, the, there were kerfuffles on both sides too you had on one hand the the eco from the very beginning of the game against gmu but also nc state had a had a dc that one round could have really that one round with that with that dc i believe that was a right. loss for nc state that I think that might have swayed it into the. If they had that one round, it wouldn't have tied like that. I don't think. Right, right. Just a little bit of an awkward situation, you know, and just having these little mishaps on both sides, kind of playing it back and right. forth. But I don't think that takes away from the fact that it was a very close game on both sides. Yeah, you know? it was still very close. Very, very close. And now hopefully, we're moving onto Vertigo. Hopefully, we'll see it be close again on vertigo i think we have a little bit of a break the players have a little bit of a break have about five minutes to join up to the server right so when they uh yeah we'll come back when when they join up
And we're back with Vertigo. The whole team is here. We're about to have a knife fight to see who gets to pick what side. Should go to United yep. States map pick. Terrorists win. Fun little knife fight. And then there we go. As expected, GMU picks CT. Indeed. And we'll have the infamous Will NC State win the pistol round. Just start making bets for this. I Twitch mean, chat points. Twitch chat points. Let me make that clear. Not betting real money. We're betting bits. <laughs> like funny bits, not like bits, bits. Like Tiki, will we win? NC State's gonna take their space, gonna throw a lurk nade out towards B. Will Tao know if Buddy is here? Buddy is pushing down. Tao will get Ooh. killed by Buddy. Tao, yeah. That is gonna be info for GMU here. NC State going the back smoke. a little bit. He hit something. I think he might have hit the wooden plank that's back there. That that is what he hit. <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy, getting another, another one. There. Nice shot too. Yeah. So stay making noise up here. Gonna, I think they're. Um, I think they were gonna try and let Tristan come out, but Tristan gets traded oh. back. Buddy, another headshot. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Those were very nice headshots. Very, very nice headshots. Very clean, very crisp. And NC State loses another. Another pistol round. Another. It's okay, though. Mm, it's okay, though. This is where they start saving their money. It's a planning round. That's what this is. Indeed. You know... Pistols being the real, like, a uh, real issue, I feel like, uh, could explain, you know, some of the halves on, uh, Anubis and, oh! uh, wow, a double nade coming out, and <laughs> these sides going to take out two state players. That's Ooh. the quickest round we've seen. Quick round. A knife not before a nade takes out one of his own teammates on the, T on the CT side. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's okay. It's all good. It's just, a, it's just a little funny for them. But wow, yeah, that was. I mean, I know, I know that they were saving, but still, that was quick. Quick and disheartening. NC State back on a full buy though. He's trying to take their space on. Oh. Hey, Grant, Buddy's not gonna let that Buddy. happen. Buddy yeah. gets three. Buddy is on fire. Buddy's the. One to look out for him. Man. On GMU. King just barely missing, but it's a 2v5 game. It's gonna feel impossible for NC State. Letting these rounds slip like this. Mm. Buddy on fire already in Vertigo. He came into the server ready to play. Chipsy on a flat, fast flank. Not gonna go down the ladder just yet. Zoker and Buddy at the top of this A ramp. Zoker gonna spot one out. Buddy's looking for more. Zoker gonna get killed. He's gonna molly him back up. He's on 25 HP though. Tristan's gonna get the flank killed. Gonna still decide to go up A here. You know, it's doable for NC State here, I think. It is. If they're able to... Well, hmm. I don't know. Side hall might be a little bit of a, a tough way to come out. But if they're able to come out right. unseen... Well, they're making a lot of noise now. Yeah, that's that's noise. Uh, Buddy was just about to like rotate off. Heard that noise turned around. But it doesn't matter. They lost their fights to Sass. They, had, they did have to push a little bit there as they were running out of time, but... 
man. Three to zero for a start. I mean, this is a usable thing. This is what we see from NC State. NC State tends to bring this back to a three to three. But yet yet, as I say that, they're doing a they're doing a safe round here, so. Losing the pistol and then losing the first gun round just makes it a little bit tough to come back from it. So stay looking to get a kill here. Able to trade one back. After kill on two. Joker. Mr. Myers able to kill Shipsy who got on two. Looks like Crimson might be able to clean up the last one. NC State. Just barely. Yeah. But surely. And GME takes their fourth. Oh, but NC State's got guns. NC State's got guns. And utility. And utility. What will they do with it? Full utility. Even They even have the armor. I see another default out from NC State. Three people towards A this time, though. We still want to try and fight this. Staff. Trying to see if we can get a pick with that. Oh, NC State not giving anything. Gonna take Ace their space now, but it looks like he might try and re-aggress here. It's a tough push when Buddy's there. Buddy gets one out of maze. Buddy gets one, but King gets one out of mid. He's gonna take his space towards mid. I think they know that two or three might be here towards A, and so I think King actually I'm, backs out. I'm a little surprised they haven't tried pushing towards B that much. It seems like Tristan's a little bit hesitant to go out here. Mm -hmm. You know, on, on Vertigo, you'd expect the CTs to play, you know, a 3-1-1. One, one, or at least just one person towards B. You don't usually need more than one or two on B. Right. Especially with how quickly you can just rotate onto it. Right, absolutely. And B is a little bit easier to retake sometimes. Is he okay? They're going, yeah, they're, they're gonna try like... their luck at B. They're wasting a lot of time, though. Wasting a lot of seconds. time, it's gonna have to be fast and it's gonna have to be quick. There's, I have to hope that. Oh, he just doesn't, he doesn't give him the time of day. A GMU's gonna be oh, nice pushed out of the side a little bit here, but let's just stay check their corners, not quite. Zoker gets two, Crimson gets one, 1v3, oh, no time two. left. Gene no time to this. plant. No money. And is gonna die. NC stayed in a really bad spot. Five to nothing. I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you do right now? when you're in NC State's position. Take a timeout, I think. I, I, I think I said this last game that, that <laughs> NC State needs to, to take a timeout and take a breather and kind of gather their thoughts. You know, like, I don't know. Mr. Myers coming out with just a Glock and armor and some util. Yeah. They look like they want to fight here. Yeah. First through these dude. Molotovs, gonna get Ooh, good one. Fun. Zoker gonna trade another. Zoker gets one more. He's not able to respond. Joker looks like he might get a third here, especially with that nade. He's staying in a pretty poor position now. Has the nades necessary to get on site. How ready for that jump up? Not gonna let it happen. Nose one's up mm -hmm. in heaven and one in elevator, but still a third guy unaccounted for that they don't know. Really not sure about, yeah. Elevator. Oh. Tim Meyer's still on the block. Ah. Taken out by Shipsy. Shipsy gets traded by Pal. Pal gets second. I think he's on the bomb. He didn't see him. King didn't see him. King's gonna play this really nicely though. No King. A little bit closer than you'd like it to be. Yeah, but hey, I mean, they didn't bite too much into that round, and they were able to get it. Mr. Myers coming in with a lock in is... armor. Didn't do anything with it, but interesting to see 
CT take a save here, or at least somewhat of a no. Okay, they're just late on buying some stuff. Okay, a little bit of a save. One of them did, man. A little bit of odd buy again. I don't know how that that's happened. I don't think I've been paying too yeah. much attention, but they've been winning a lot of these. Games, right? You think they'd have more money after buying after winning five in a row, but right. Doker gets one in mid with that Mag 7. Able to tag Taos down. Tristan able to get one back on the B, but he's Tao gets Doker through the smoke. Through the smoke. It's a big kill, I think. Two players on NC State are really low. Shipsy pushing down. The timing. This is insane. NC State gonna go out onto the B site. Oh! Be met with Sass. Off. And grenade. grenade. Oh, and a flank. Mr. Myers left in a 1v3. Uh, I bet we can ever. That fell apart really quick with NC State. Yes, yes, it did. I mean, they didn't even buy diffuses. And they were still able to retake it and diffuse in time. Mm -hmm. You know, NC State went into that site with four men. 4v3. And weren't able to yeah. capitalize on it, unfortunately. Mm, yeah. Still no timeout coming. You know, I think, you know, they got, they got a round back. It wasn't a very convincing round. I, what I meant to say earlier was that when they should be slowing down the pace, they are speeding it up. Right. I'm, even right now, they're, they're hustling as they move into, into the ramp. Maybe trying to force things a little too much, and it ends up biting them in the butt. I'm going to go up A ramp again here. They are determined to make sure that they win this A ramp fight eventually. Yeah. Would Buddy have anything to say about it this time? Buddy's got a lot of the bite with that bark. I mean, Sad. holding the mid here. Crimson oh, able to push up down. and get one on the king. He's been dethroned. King has been dethroned. A new king is in town, and it is Crimson. Crimson King. I guess it'd be the other way around. King Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Something like I have that. To go, I'll have to go back and ask what they would uh what they'd say in the uh, in medieval era. Yeah. How do you Crimson of the court. The king? Seventh son of Some, someone Louis else's or son. Something. Yeah. <laughs> of, of John. You called me the wrong name? Off with your head. Oh, and off with his head as Buddy gets one. Kristen trades back, Zoker gets another. Myers trades back, Zoker gets two, and it's over for NC State. Not able to even get onto the side without resistance. Right. Seven to one. Seven to one. The morale's very... gotta be low. I mean, no timeout still. No still timeout. No timeout. Still. No breathing. You know, even even I want to take a breather sometimes. Watching this, it's it's very it's very tough. It's you know they're letting these these rounds just slip away, especially on the map. You know, they're confident on this. One. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Buddy with another 4K. Why do they keep? Man. The ramp is not working like they want it to, and yet they force. keep pushing it. They forced again. Their money is in a really bad spot. Are they hoping to turn the tides? And when... there we go. There we go. Finally. There we go. <laughs> That's what we'd we like to see. We get a round see. of applause for the first NC State timeout. Take a breather, guys. <laughs> yeah. Talk it over.
right. We, we can chill out a little bit. We'll, we'll but, chill out a little bit. But it, it's yeah, a yeah. long overdue that, timeout. You've got four, you've got a lot of t- – I mean, this is something that we saw last week. NC State doesn't take – NC State did take timeouts on Vertigo last week, though. Hmm. They And they said that they were talking about uh, – I believe they were talking about – what exactly to do with their with their positioning and with their eco. Right. You know, here with it piling so much, you kind of wonder do you have time to talk about that kind of stuff if you just need to give people a breather. Right. Mace gonna get picked off by Sath there and, and something with that one too is that you saw the flash come out after Mace got killed. So some just disconnect between NC State right now and just you know was that timeout enough to kind of fix this morale and, and give them a, a fresh start to very possibly we're seeing some new we're seeing some different tactics here right they're, they're back to the man stacking the staff that's the new staring term staring at given. it that's the new term I've given it man stacking man oh stacking. Gonna come out here, gonna try and oh. 1v1 ship C. Oh. No. Ah, yeah, he didn't know that he was there. It's a little he bit tough to, his luck. to swing close on. Right. Definitely saw King before he, before King saw him. Stay trying to come out on the D side. Crimson gets one, Tristan gets one. Oh. Sapphire like trips back and him chasing Tao down. Yeah. That certainly was a different, um, they didn't go ramp that time. Right. Yeah. But it, but it seems like they just were disconnected still a little bit. You know, you had, you know, Mace gets picked and then a flash came. Right. And then King, you know, trying to lurk out mid a little bit there. You it, it's, it's not an odd thing for us to see King. Um, being the the one off to go one way while everyone else goes the other way. Right. He has, he has very strong off skills. He's very good with his aim. But but some of these corners are just very tight. I mean, very very hard to get the the scoop on someone if they're paying attention the entire time. Right. NC State coming up a ramp again, not to any fruition. How trying to make his way on the site, but he's not gonna let that happen. Okay. It's one. Down south. Uh, takes issue with it and buddy is able to finish out the round NC State down 10 to 1 now 10 to 1 this was NC State's map pick it was NC State's map pick haven't honestly haven't seen a lot of the synchronous um like the synchronous team fights with the with the nades right been very one person lobs something, the next person waits a little bit longer. Not a lot of team momentum that we're used to seeing from NC State. Is this is this them being tired from you know the over overtime last it could map? Be. You know they, they you know they fought really hard to bring it back. They brought it back, but then you know denied at the end. You know just one round just didn't go their way and ends up. But, you know, that's match point. We, we knew that this was going to be a tough game for both teams, given right. that... Ooh, two, two, two on NC State here. Uh, g given how good, he, how good both teams are. I mean... It looks like GMU's making it. There you go. Mace, down to 11 HP. Trying to climb a mountain. Not going to be able to. And GMU takes an 11th this round. Two rounds away from taking the series. I don't want to say it. But immediately here, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a pistol round. We're gonna have the pistol round. We need a non non NC State pistol round to occur for NC State to stay in the game. NC State could I mean NC State was able to get win a pistol round last week on mm -hmm. Vertigo. They know their pistol rounds are weak. Dude, we've discussed this with them. But how does this come? You know, they they, they know they are Mr. Myers oh, Mr. Gets Myers on the ramp. You know, they, they know this is 
this round is super important for the series. And it looks like they're... Look, appreciate that. They're so Smoke close. Smoke is able to get oh. one. He's gonna catch the other guy oh. reloading. Oh. Gets him down to one. He's oh. peeking. Gets it out back. Of, Shits and trades one. Mr. Myers carries that back. And Zoker not able to it's hit his shot. It's with the pistol round. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Still a mountain to climb, though. Still a mountain to climb. Still but a mountain to climb. I'm sure that, as NC State, very happy to see that. I mean, definitely for morale, you know. And, and mm -hmm. you'd expect, you know, they're all in the same place. Some fist bumps around, some smiles going around. Hopefully, the morale is getting a little bit back in there. Um, you know, NC State should have this round under control. Ooh. Should, should. Uh, two guns go down, but you know, GMU's on, on pistols. No, no armor. Could still be uh, quite the round. Ooh, if he doesn't get spammed through smoke, buddy on fire this map. Buddy has been very interesting. Thorn in their side. <laughs> on on many sides. On the A site. But buddy's also very patient. Very patient. Gene is playing this very patient. Tao able to get one. Oh no, King is down low, but Tao takes out oh, Buddy. Buddy. Buddy goes down. Buddy goes down. It's a 2v2, but it's... it's. Oh, bombs completely over there. No kits. Right, no kits. They'll have to take this a lot quicker than anticipate. to win this fight here. Does. He does. Now it's they left have to, to move in a little bit King, quicker. Finding out where this last person is. Just the bomb finds out. Oh, through the smoke! Zoker, through the smoke! He's able to clutch the 1v2! Wow. The predictability through the smoke, I didn't... I didn't think he was going to get that through the smoke, though, if I'm going to be honest. It leaves me speechless that NC State's able to just lose that right there. You know, Jim, you came in with nothing but Glocks that round, and right. it's it's extremely extremely demoralizing because now you're on on series point. Jim, you wins this, they win the series, and and you're done for tonight. And they're gonna be on series point throughout the rest of the match here. If, right, NC State's eco NC not NC looking State good. Wins. You're going to be taking their space. Tristan gets Ooh, Tristan. one. Very clean. Head. Could get another one here. Not able to. Chipsy. Chipsy. Going on the Tristan. Crimson. Not the maze. It's the B site. Tao looking for something through the smoke, hopefully. The town, Mr. Myers. Up to a seemingly impossible task. Crimson takes down Mr. Myers and Tao. No armor. Oh, not the knife. knife here. No, not the knife. Nail to the coffin. NC State losing their map pick 13 2. And with that, GMU takes the series. Indeed. 2 to 0. I'll tell you what. I mean, that first map that we saw, I expected the rest of the maps to go like that. Like, right. very back and forthy. Right. I. Right. I I mean, after watching Vertigo play last week, maybe, I, maybe Jamie did their homework and and saw some of the tactics that NC NC State liked to push very quickly onto right. places like the ramp, um, and put some of the best players like Buddy to to guard that. I mean, yeah, and I, and I mean, what do you do against that too? I mean, Buddy was just on fire hitting his shots and, and being a, a, a menace on a site. But then you kind of ask the question of, of NC State going there repeatedly, just continuously going back and back and back to the to the A site and, and, and allowing Buddy to take, you know, you know, he felt really I, comfortable and was able to take those three K's and four K's. I, I times. certainly wouldn't I wouldn't have expected for them to have the same setup every time. So maybe NC State was trying to see if they could catch him right. off guard. Right. But right. Buddy, but it, I, I, I have to, I, I don't want to, I don't want to beat down on them because I mean, it was Buddy, it was Buddy's, Buddy's very patient. Like I said, Buddy will just mm -hmm. sit there and wait for you to push. I mean, we saw a little bit of that on, on the first map, Anubis, 
in they ran NC State's patience a little thin sometimes. Right. And NC State pushed out a little bit further, and GMU was able to clean up on on a few of those pushes early on in the game. But right. I I think the I think over time, the very long first game isn't something usually seen, and and going into that second one, I mean, yeah. It's it's disappointing, really. You know, and and you know, I also don't want to beat down on them too much. It's obviously, it's just not a. Oops! It looks like someone got into our. Oh, I can hear. Yeah. We got an interview. We got an interview with NC State. We're gonna we can ask them here? all of our questions. We're gonna mute in here, okay? You need to mute on here, and we'll get you in the Discord. All right. Yeah. All right. I, I think they're a little confused about the about the setup that we've got going on, but yeah, we'll get. We'll yo, get yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's yeah. up? We we, we move the we move the cameras onto a different thing for um for latency reasons, but I got you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What's so, up? What's up? Oh man. man. Here, let me let me let me move it so I can see your beautiful face. Oh, right, thank there you. There you are. Absolutely. So. Oh man. Well, first mm. let's talk about that first map. Let's talk okay. about the first map before. All right, we talk yeah, about the yeah, map. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay. first map was close. I mean, wow, yeah. all those fights. What, what yeah, we, yeah. Like, uh, I mean, what were just you thinking as it went to overtime. Oh, we were hyped, dude. Come back. I think it was like twelve yeah, seven. I was. You guys went yeah. from twelve seven to to twelve twelve. That was insane. I mean, yeah, that was that was that was one for the ages. But uh, yeah. you know, I just couldn't couldn't get through. I had a couple couple close rounds and. Oh, I just uh, couldn't couldn't get to the finish line there. Right. Um, right. Yeah. And going into so. going into Vertigo off of that, I mean, how did you guys feel? I mean, like going into overtime on any maps really just kind of like ends up becoming a mental game more than it does. Uh, uh... Yeah, I mean, I I thought we were pretty pretty good for it, but I guess not. So I guess the the mental was a little deeper than than we anticipated. Right. But uh, mm -hmm. nah, I mean, yeah, just they outplayed us. They they're just, they were really confident, like the way they swung on Vertigo, and that caught us off guard a lot. Right, and right, they're just hitting right. their shots, so you know we I, I, we didn't have like a full buy on T side for like the last seven rounds or something. Right, right. That's what it felt like at least. Right. Right. Um, so, but uh, you know, to Inferno, Inferno is ours, hundred percent, no question about it. Right. Um, I was I was so excited to see Inferno, and then we just couldn't. Yeah, we were it. too. Yeah, we were too. Yeah. Um, but hey, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles. So. Right. I've got so on, on the map bands oh, too. Yeah, go ahead. Did you guys not? Feel that an overpass was going to be in in the cards tonight. Did you guys feel more confident that you'd be better on Vertigo rather than um, overpass? Yeah, we didn't expect them to pick Anubis. Um, mm -hmm. We sure that we thought they'd float it or, or something. Um, yeah, overpass we originally were going to pick, but mm -hmm. I mean, Ty can talk more about that. You want to talk about our picks? Nah, he doesn't want to talk about our picks. He doesn't <laughs> want to talk. It's all good. He doesn't want to be him. seen on camera. Ah man. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, it's all wanna... good. I want to ask, how did you, how did you feel about Buddy <laughs> watching that ramp on on Vertigo? I don't, I wasn't ramp. It, who was on ramp that got destroyed by Buddy? Does anyone want to talk? <laughs> oh no! Don't, all right, don't all right. Like that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, what's up, man? Eddie. Oh, Eddie. how you doing? You look, I'm doing you look all right. Look happy. at you, looking pretty spiffy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. I I wanted to ask. You guys kept pushing ramp on Vertigo. How did you feel about Buddy and his like patience and persistence to just stay on ramp that whole time? I know yeah. anything that 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 look says it all. <laughs> I mean, I think Matthew summarized it pretty well while we were in game. Of just, it felt like a lot of our flashes somehow hit us more than they were hitting them. Right. Which is right. weird because we we haven't had a map on Vertigo where it's really felt like that before. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, any other team that's playing like that ramp you know we trade out the the crane guy pretty pretty reliably right um and we just we just didn't have the the spacing or the the support that we we normally that just stuff wasn't landing the way that we we needed it to uh right. honestly I, I think the our one of our biggest issues was that once we had the rounds where we did win ramp and that buddy you know like didn't go massive or whatever we then 
didn't transition into actually getting a full execute out on A. I think we act genuinely executed A maybe once, and our A executes pretty good. Like if we if we had actually had the you know the the timing to to do that properly and the util to do that properly, I, I think it would have been a, a much different first half. Right, right, right. Yeah, because I mean we like I I agree with you. Some of those pushes, one of them I believe was a a four to three when you were able to push the ramp and you weren't able to clean it up as as well as i think you would have wanted to yeah i i think particularly by that point our our comms were just not where they needed to be like the space in between like right. matthew was pretty deep in his sight i was like kind of close enough to trade him the other two guys were still like ramp ramp we just didn't uh, the the communication was not there for that to be a solid take Gotcha, gotcha. Going off of that too, I know um, a couple of weeks ago, so one of the points was to take more timeouts. Um, yeah. We we had talked about it a little bit while, while it got to maybe like six one and then seven one eight one, and we we're kind of you know talking about when is NC State going to take a timeout there? Do you think that you know taking advantage of those timeouts earlier um, during that snowball would have helped alleviate some of that that stress and that pressure that you guys started building up, or did you feel like it was already too late by the time you took that timeout, or um, I mean, I definitely think there's an argument for us to take, you know, one at least maybe two rounds earlier than we did. Um, we're used to kind of starting out on the back foot, just given how bad our piss around win rate is. <laughs> right. Um, and so, well, you know, like you, you being, one of those, but... right. Yeah. Um, yeah. but I mean, being, you know, like four, one down is something we're pretty used to. Um, I think once that became five, one, six, one, that's definitely a big point where, you know, we should be like, Hey, what are the tendencies that we're seeing? How can we evaluate it better? Because um, I, I think, I mean, there were a couple rounds where like we just kind of dry peaked ops and you know lost man advantage super early, and that's stuff that we can't we can't be doing. Um, and I think you know if we if we take the time out earlier, we you know we take that breather. I think we we end up doing that a lot less, and we can probably at least string together you know three or four T sud. Gotcha, gotcha. But uh, I I don't want to completely like bring bring down the mood here uh, so let, let's talk a little bit more about anubis i mean yeah, yeah how how were you guys feeling um we i know king was very excited he was talking about how how excited you guys were to go into overtime yeah uh, uh when you when you went eight nine ten eleven twelve mm -hmm. twelve how how was that how, how did it feel to do that um it's something that we're actually pretty familiar with it's something that i you know i I give us a lot of credit for, you know, we, we have that ability to, um, you know, looking at it one way, throw the first part of the half, but on the other hand, you know, clutch back up and, and figure out what it is that we're doing wrong. Right. Um, and I, I think there was definitely some, a little bit of worry, uh, at least from me going into halftime, because I think our T-sides are normally stronger than that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we, we were down one point, I think like, you know, five, two or something. Uh, on our T side, and that's not a great position for us to be in. You know, we can pretty reliably get seven plus on our T side Anubis. Um, and so going into CT, being down, you know, that 12 7, um, I think they're on. We've definitely proven that that's, that's something we can come back from. Anubis right. CT side is one of the least likely for us to do that for. Um, and so I think by the time we, you know, we got it to 11, 12, 12, 12, we were like, wow, okay, th this is going in, this is going in the books. Like we, mm -hmm. the fact that we can, we can prove to ourselves that even on, you know, uh, a side that we're not traditionally very great at, um, you know, we, we went into overtime feeling that we definitely had the, the upper hand and the momentum to, to close it out. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I have any, any more like questions to ask. Um, I don't have any more either. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I, the the first map very close. Second one, un, unfortunate. But um, yeah, how are you guys? What do you? I guess one last question: Do you think you guys are going to work on anything as you're preparing for next week? That's a good question. We definitely have to go back uh, and look at this and figure out, you know, what wasn't landing on Vertigo. Um, there's definitely our, our protocols shouldn't be countered that easily. We're definitely messing something up there. Um, so there's definitely going to be some demo review for that. Um, I think I'm pretty content with how Anubis went. Obviously, we should have closed that out, but I, I'm right, not going to be right. too upset with, you know, how that went. Um, I think we I think we just maybe took for granted a little bit much that, you know, we pushed their map pick that far and thought Vertigo was, you know, going to be more 
inherently favored to us since you know we, we should be coming with uh you know the the better strat book um so just definitely making sure that we we go back through that that vertigo game and figure out what those mistakes were gotcha yeah uh, well all right i i think that's i think that's all that we've got for you all right well i appreciate you guys everybody Thank you. have Thank a good you. night yes sir we'll peace, see peace. you next week see you next week oh oh oh, 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 oh he oh, wants oh, oh he wants to say something Hey. Yo, yo, cool. You want to hop? You want to pug with us after this? <laughs> sure, man. We sure. need a fourth. I bet, bet, bet. Sure. Hey, thanks, guys. Again, shout out streamers. Yeah. You guys are clutch. Be shout y'all. Yeah. And, uh, we're so gonna see you next week. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Close we're... out the stream for us, Will. All right. How they do it? How they? <laughs> yeah, what is up, it. everybody? Great stream. Got my boys here, you know, holding it down. All right. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still in the...